Everybody. Welcome to another edition of Axe Creation. On this episode of Tool Tuesday, we look at the breakdown of Swamp Song. So on last week's episode, we looked at the intro bass line to this song. Now a lot of you had asked me like, oh, can we do a guitar version of this? And um, sure. And I wanted to focus on the breakdown of the song rather than the intro of the song because honestly, for the most part, it's really similar, all right? So if you guys are playing the bass part and you want to play the guitar part minus just a couple open string chugs, it's really, really, really similar, all right? So let's look at the breakdown of this song. So now we are in a drop D tuning, as always, okay? And if you guys want to follow along with the tabs, you can find them on my Instagram, at AxeCreation, all right? Or you can find the link for the PDF or Guitar Pro down in the description below. Okay, so like I said, we are in a drop D tuning. Now we are in a compound meter, so 6-8. Um, I see this written a lot as in 12-8. As in kind of the same thing, it's just, it's just doubled. I don't like counting the 12, I like counting the 6, so I feel it as 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, now we're basically playing our A and, a and D string, our fifth and fourth string. And we're basically taking this power chord, we're in seventh position, right, right around the seventh fret. And we're basically playing two shapes, okay? So if you're unfamiliar with your intervals on the guitar, this is a perfect primer. We have a fifth or a power chord in seventh, seventh position A string. And then move our ring finger on that note and play five in the D string. You have what they call a minor third. And those two notes together should sound sad because they make a minor chord. Okay, and all together, we got this nice E minor chord, okay? So we're bouncing off our open A and, pl and playing the power chord in reverse, so 9, 7, and then open A, and then reverse on the minor third. Okay, so not too hard, but this is a great song or a great section to really work on your dynamics, right? How loud and soft you're playing, okay? So you wanna, if you have a volume pedal, roll that down or play really soft. If you're playing on a, on a more high gain kind of sound, pick softly and mute, okay? So that's gonna go by about eight times and then you're gonna have a slight variation of it. The meter is not gonna change, but again, we're gonna move kind of in fifth position and focus just on those chords. We're going to move the power chord down to fifth position, so seven, five, all right? Play seven on the A and then outline the minor chord. All right? Really simple to play, again, so if you're used to those kind of pentatonic scales, this is going to fit right in. It's kind of have that sound as well. So now let's talk about those dynamics again. As you're going by, you play that like eight times through. Then when you're getting near the end, release the palm mute and pick a little harder. And then open up, right? So you hit your open D string, O, O, O. And then the notes on your A string are five, open, open, seven. Now I like to pull off and then hammer on. All right, then you 
go if you open D a couple times, you slide it up an octave, you start doing some unison bends, and you got a nice little unison bend solo. All right. So again, not too complicated. Very easy to count your six eight if you're not if you're unfamiliar with that. All right. You can kind of look at some interval shapes, and most importantly, you're working on your dynamics and how hard you're picking, and then kind of open it up and going back and forth between quiet and loud. All right. Great stuff. So again, you can find the tab on my Instagram, at AxeCreation. Tag me in your performance. I'd love to see it. Thank you for those who are. It's really awesome that you guys do that. And if you guys want to find a full PDF or Guitar Pro of this section of the song, the link is down below. All right? So as always, let me know what you come up with. Until then, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.